are gathering together unto Him. We are gathering together unto Him. Unto Him shall the gathering of the people be. We are gathering together unto Him. Unto him shall the gathering of the people be. We are gathering together unto him. The Franciscan friars in India offer masses for the following intentions. For the soul of Teresa Mary by Mother Jacqueline, for the soul of K. Peter, for the soul of Maria Joseph, Joseph Hyginus, for the soul of Arthur and Vera Rose by Daphne and Paddy Bowart, for the soul of Father Edwin, Anthony, and Susanna David, for the soul of Avello and Teresa Luciani, for all the holy souls in purgatory and also for the forgotten souls and a special intention by Andrew David and family. Dear brothers and sisters, today our beloved father, Father Bala, the main celebrant, celebrates his ordination anniversary. As he was ordained in 2008, he has completed 12 years of priestly ministry. The Lord has been good to him as he celebrates as a thanksgiving mass we also rejoice with him and he as he celebrates his ordination anniversary today along with him we also continue to pray for him pray for his good health of mind and body that the lord may bless him abundantly bless his parents and that all his wishes may be fulfilled, that he may lead the God's flock in the right path. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart who will shepherd you wisely and prudently hallelujah my dear brothers and sisters once again the lord invites us to taste his life to taste his food to taste also his love and obedience therefore these days we have been listening to the great invitation that Jesus gives us, come and believe in me because I am the bread of life. Every participation, brothers and sisters, come together. We are partakers to receive him and also to trust, to love and to obey him so that we may enjoy his accompaniment through his life that gives us in every Eucharistic celebration. As we partake in this celebration in a worthy manner, ask the Lord for pardon and strength for all our failures and shortcomings. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, 
Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Christ, have mercy on your people gathered here. We confess we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those we have endured with the grace of faith and eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verses 1 to 8. A great persecution arose against the church in Jerusalem and they were all scattered throughout the region of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made great lamentation over him. But Saul laid waste the church, and entering house after house, he dragged off men and women and committed them to the prison. Now, those who were scattered went about preaching the word. Philip went down to a city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the Christ. And the multitudes with one accord gave heed to what was said by Philip when they heard him and saw the signs which he did. For unclean spirits came out of many who were possessed kept crying with a loud voice, and many who were paralyzed or lame were healed. So there were many, there were much joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth, O sing to the glory of His name. O render Him glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous your deeds. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Before you all the earth shall bow, shall sing to you, sing your name. Come and see the works of God, tremendous His deeds among men. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river dry shod. They let a joy then be in him. He rules forever by his might. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. 
praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord chapter 6 verses 35 to 40 jesus said to the crowds i am the bread of life he who comes to me shall not hunger and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me, yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up at the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, an author who said rightly, if you want to know somebody, there are two ways to reveal about that person. Firstly, through his words. Secondly, through his deeds. Through his words and deeds, only we know who that person is, who, what type of person he is. Brothers and sisters, these three days we have been listening from the first reading as well as the gospel reading that the apostles who began proclaiming and bearing witness to Jesus, the risen Lord, and also proclamation that they were doing that gives a glimpse that who they are and what they have seen with their own eyes. The proclamation that the disciples, apostles were doing was an extraordinary way that all gathered together Though there were kind of hardships, though there were kinds of tribulations, difficulties and disappointments, still they moved on, carried on proclaiming, a bearing witness to the risen Lord. In today's first reading we hear, once again, seeing that goodness, seeing that good things that Apostles were doing, Saul begins to persecute the church. And St. Philip here, once again, Apostle Philip, though there was scattering of or the broken, the good company of the people, still he goes on to proclaim. And through his proclamation, the miracles did happen over there. All the evils were cast out. All the paralyzed and the lame people began to walk. In other words, brothers and sisters, God overshadowed them. He has given them life in abundance, in fullness. Therefore, they were able to begin and continue the same life that they were enjoying and the same life that they want to give to the people around. The gospel of the day invites us once again. Jesus saying, I am the bread of life. Therefore, brothers and sisters, through his word and deeds, we know who Jesus is. Not simply only by preaching, 
the word and also from the proclamation that is to the deeds therefore jesus is known as jesus son of god when he says i am the bread of life one who comes to me will never be thirsty and one who believes in me will never be hungry in other words brothers and sisters jesus does two things in everyone's life in every moment of our life he gives his word and also proclaims through his life how to reach that word how to fulfill that word a small story of a woman taking her only son to the shop to buy the provisions when they reached the shop provision shop and mother bought all the necessary basic needs for the family and out of love the shopkeeper extended his love giving a uh, chocolates to the boy and the shopkeeper took two three containers of the chocolates and he was giving to the boy and boy would not take he was feeling shy and mother told her son take uncle is giving take the chocolates the child would not touch at the end simply the child said mommy let uncle give the chocolates i will not take if i take chocolates with my hand i get only few if uncle gives me with his hand i get more brothers and sisters what a wisdom in this boy if i take from the container i get only few chocolates if uncle gives me i will get more because his hand is big when jesus invites every celebration come to me i am the bread of life brothers and sisters he is giving everything in abundance not only through his word scripture but the eucharist he gives in abundance therefore the gospel of the day tells one who comes to me will he will never reject and he says bread of life bread is only the physical sustenance life is of that brothers and sisters more than the physical sustenance it is spiritual sustenance it is life that is connected to god who is the author of life it is life and jesus says i am the bread of life it is the life of relationship with god to the truth to love and to obedience and we have when jesus came in the john's gospel chapter 4 verse 34 i have come to do the will of my father in obedience in love in truth therefore brothers and sisters when jesus invites us he claims only three makes three claims here through this saying i am the bread of life he says he offers himself as a spiritual food he also offers himself in a way hope for us to share in his resurrection by saying i am the bread of life he also invites us in unbroken relationship and freedom that we will never cut away from god and when jesus inviting every moment of our life brothers and sisters through his word and through his deed i am sure we are well assured that he will accompany us in our day to day life but my question for us to reflect brothers and sisters is something extraordinary and what is it that we hunger for what is it that we thirst for and we heard brothers and sisters he wants to see us at the end of the day god wants to see us every one of us on the last day and when is that last day and he says beautifully one who sees the sun and believes the sun and how do we see this son of god how do we believe in him brothers and sisters depends on our hunger depends on our thirst and as jesus invites us one who comes to me will never be hungry and what is that hunger that we are longing for and these days of pandemic disease brothers and sisters what is our hunger what is our thirst we need to hunger for our friendship 
because this lockdown as most of us feel that we are lonely but it has brought us companionship we need to hunger for love we need to hunger for help happy family not the wealth let us not hunger for more wealth because this pandemic disease has taught us if you really examine our life all those who are rich have become poor and all those who are poor have become rich in believing in god and our hunger we may have a lot of people around us we may have a lot of things around us but only god can satisfy our hunger and thirst as he has done to samaritan woman in st john's gospel chapter 4 verse 15 that woman at the end he said give me that water that that spring of water which will never be thirsty again brothers and sisters this time of disease pandem- pandemic disease this time of crisis how do we once again hunger for god hunger of thirst for his life and jesus beautifully tells us as he invite as invites us see me if you see the son of god and if you believe in that son of god and he will raise it up on the last day and he says beautifully the mission of jesus has been fulfilled from the gospel of the day when he says i am the bread of life all those who come to me will never be hungry all those who believe in me will never be thirsty for us to reflect brothers and sisters what is that that we hunger for what is it that we thirst for in today's world when we come across all these trials and tribulations all these calamities still do we hunger for god and what is my longing where what do i long for in today's world when in spite of all these difficult moments how can i keep myself connected to god as he said with my word with my deed you get connected to me and how do i connect it to god brothers and sisters as you partake in this celebration in a worthy manner let us reflect and also examine ourselves and together with the family how do i still connect to god when he says come to me believe in me and you will never be thirsty and hungry again and what is that word and what is that deed just giving us whenever we partake in the celebration of the eucharist we bring sacrifice of praise unto the house of the lord we bring sacrifice of praise unto the house of the lord and we offer up to you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and we offer up to you a sacrifice of praise sacrifice of praise unto the house of the Lord. We bring sacrifice of praise unto the house of the Lord. And we offer unto you a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And we offer unto Sacrifice of praise And we offer unto you A sacrifice of thanksgiving We offer unto you a sacrifice of praise. 
pray my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the father almighty may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church grant we pray o lord that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of unending joy through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. He never ceases to offer Himself for us. but defends us and never pleads our cause before you he is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the lamb once slain who lives forever therefore we overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic chorus Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim Holy 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 are you Lord Holy 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 are you Angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Blessed is he who comes. Comes in the name of the Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray. by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for all of you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from me. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant." 
it will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Die, you destroyed our death Rising, you restored our life Lord Jesus, Lord Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George Antony, Sami, Archbishop, all the religious and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, and all the saints, Francis, Anthony, Sebastian, who have pleased you throughout all the ages, we may merit to be co eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, let us dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Please join as we pray together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. My dear brothers and sisters, thanks a lot for praying for me as I celebrate my ordination anniversary and we request you all to continue remembering me in your prayers to do the God's will. Thanks a lot and God bless your families. Prayer to Saint Sebastian in time of pandemic corona. O Saint Sebastian, faithful soldier of our eternal King, you Amen. remain courageous during the challenging times because you recognize the redemptive power in the suffering 
death and resurrection of Jesus. You endured the pains of arrows that pierced your body because you had already been pierced by the sword of God's word into your soul. Thus following our Lord Jesus Christ, you heal all people who have been suffering physically and mentally through plagues and pestilence. We have heard many testimonies of healing from people around the world and we know in our own history that you have protected and healed people from black death and other pandemic diseases and restored them back to their normal lives with the nature, with their neighbors and with our merciful Father. O true disciple of our divine physician, look upon your devotees who are afflicted heavily by the deadly virus of Corona. We have been deprived of many people's lives and relations. Being isolated from each other, we have become weak and vulnerable. Yet like you, we dare to take refuge in the Lord rather than to trust in the power of this world because it is God alone who is the author and perfecter of our lives. O holy martyr of our Christian faith, we remember gratefully all the generous and courageous people who have risked their lives to take care of the victims of this contagious virus. We ask you to bless them with good health. We request you to strengthen our faith and regulate our breath. Restore our sight to see the image of God in all creation. Purify our love that we love and respect our neighbors with dignity and honor and give us the sincerity of heart to stretch ourselves in solidarity with each other as Jesus did to manifest the kingdom of God in our midst where he lives and reigns with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. St. Sebastian, glorious martyr of Christ, an unfailing hope of the afflicted, grant us good health to serve our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy name, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Saviour, by the powerful intercession of St. Sebastian, deliver us from the present affliction and fear of the pandemic virus of Corona. Merciful Father, graciously listen to our prayers and heal our infirmities of body and soul, so that, knowing your forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in your saving help through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us. May he protect us from all evil and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me, no turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still 
Join as we recite Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and from the deadly pestilence he will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, our mother, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Sebastian, our patron, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.